Hey guys, it's me, and with summer coming up, this is definitely the season right now to be looking in the stores for swimsuits for the summer. So I realize I have quite a bit of the collection of swimsuits that I've just collected from a few years, and I also did a bit of shopping at the end of the swimsuit season last year that were on sale and stuff, so I wanted to show you guys just my swimsuits right now. As I go through them, I'm going to be sharing with you a few of the uh, summer trends for this year because I did get a few swimsuits this year as well, so some of them are trends from this year and some of them are just ones that I've liked from other years, ones that I find very comfortable and cute. So I have quite a few, so I'm just going to get right into it. This first one is my favorite and it's from Victoria's Secret. I got it this season and it's a black bandeau um, top like this and personally I don't really like polka dots and if you know me you really know that but this bathing suit it's different it's not really polka dots like they're not complete circles it's kind of like roughed around the edges and I just thought it was really cute so this is the top and it's bandeau like I said um, it has like a cute little tie in the center it has a nice sturdy clasp for the back and it also comes with a strap that you can hook around it so this is really cute and it's also padded in case you're wondering. So I really like this and they had matching bottoms but like I said I don't really like polka dots so I thought it would be too much if I got the bottoms as well. So I'm just pairing this one with just a plain black pair and this one is from Walmart and I find Walmart has really good bathing suits. A lot of my bathing suits are from Walmart and a black bottom is definitely what you need. It's an essential for swimsuit bottoms because black can just go with anything. For my body type where I have like a smaller chest and slightly larger hips, um, just like a neutral black bottom works well with my body type because if I do like a pattern top, it draws the focus more there than it would to the bottom. So I pair these black bottoms with a lot of different tops and I'm going to be showing you guys those. The second one is black too and this one is from Walmart and I got it at the end of last season. It was on sale for like a couple dollars and this one is just like black and it has these ruffles on it and these ruffles adds a little bit more volume to your chest. So if you have a smaller chest, adding like ruffles or something to the top is perfect for you. So this again, I just pair with these black little bottoms. Then I have that same top in purple and this is like a bright almost like neon purple. It's really cute and it just has the ruffles again. All these are like slightly padded and the bottoms that I wear with these ones are I got this year as well this season and these ones are from Victoria's Secret and they're very flattering because they have this like ruffle on the side like that and they match the color perfectly even though I got them at different stores. Next bathing suit is purple as well because I find that purple looks good on me like I really like purple. I'm wearing purple today that's ironic. Um, this bathing suit is it has like a little bit of like a shimmer in the material which I really like and it has um, like a ruffle along the inner side of the top which I really like and this this triangle style is a little bit more flattering on me than a bandeau because I am smaller chested and bandeaus just make you look more flat so the bottoms that I wear with that one is just plain these are actually the same as the black ones that I showed you before, but these are just in um, a different color. This material isn't shimmery like the top because they are different like bathing suits. A lot of my bathing suits I mix and match, and but I really like the contrast between the two. So this next top is just from Forever 21, and it's a triangle as well. And I got this one this season as well. And... Like I said before, I like to have a pattern on top and a solid on the bottom and the background of this one is just black so I'm just pairing it with these plain black bottoms once again that I, that I do with a lot of my bathing suits because I like to mix and match. Um, and the small floral pattern is very in for this season. This next bathing suit I got at um, Garage last season. So it's just like a navy blue 
background and then it has these little floral prints and it's like the coral colors and coral is very in for this season as well so um, this bathing suit works for this season and I really like the the ties because they have the little beads and I think that's just very like I don't know it makes you feel like you're on vacation so this one this bathing suit is really cute for vacations or just in the pool you know and then the bottoms are really cute as well. They match. They're just like the navy blue. And then they have a fold over, which is very flattering for a lot of body types. This next bathing suit I got a couple of years ago, so it's probably not available anymore, but um, I think it's really cute. It's brown, and it's very flattering to like my skin tone because my hair is brown, and it just matches like my coloring. And, um, and this one, it has like a thicker band at the bottom, so it's very supportive if you're going to do like sports and stuff. Yeah, so this bathing suit, you're, you won't lose it in the water. And um, this one, the brand is Aqua Rose, and it's from Lovey and Rose. And these bathing suits are very good quality. They're just as good quality as the ones from Victoria's Secret. So this is the top, and the bottoms are just like this. They have kind of like a built-in belt, which I think is really cute too. Just adds a little bit of detail to the bottoms. And then with this bathing suit as well, I also have a little matching skirt, which is really cute. And it has like the little ruffles. But it's just a skirt, it's not a skirt, so you have to wear the bottoms and then this on top. This next bathing suit is from Lovey and Rose as well, and I really like it. It's white, and sometimes you have to be careful with wearing a white bathing suit because if it's too thin, you could be having a wardrobe malfunction if you're wet. It's not too good to be wearing a white bathing suit. But white bathing suits are also very good because they enhance your tan and they make you look much tanner um, up against your skin. So I really like this one because it just has like a, like a green florally print on it and it just looks like oceany so it just has some blue flowers very tropical so I really like this one it has a little tie detail in the center and again it's a triangle style and then the bottoms to this one is really cute because they're shorts so that's really nice and then it has like little ties on the side so if you want to pull it up you can scrunch it like that you know what I'm saying then again, it just has the flowers, and this white bathing suit is a thicker material, so you, so it won't be see-through when it's wet. This next bathing suit is really flattering for lots of different body types because it is reversible. So on one side, it's just plain pink, and it's like a corally pink, so that's very in for the summer. And then on the other side, it's striped. And the bottoms are the exact same way. So this is very flattering for different body types because like I said, if you're smaller on the top and bigger on the bottom, you're going to want to wear the patterned side on your top and the plain side on the bottom. And if your body shape is the other way around, you can wear the solid on the top and the patterned on the bottom because it will just draw your attention to the patterned side. So this is just plain... Um, triangle style and then the bottoms are are just like this and they have a little tie I'm not too much of a fan of the tie because I'm always scared that it's gonna become undone but it's like triple knotted here so <laughs> these ones are alright and then the last top that I have I think is really cute and it's very bright for the summer this one's a bandeau as well and it's just so cute and this one it's very secure, very supportive, and it has a nice clasp for the back, so it's not just a tie. So this one is cute for like if you're going to be a little bit more active as well, like if you're going to like a water park or doing like games in the water. So this one's really cute for that, and I really like the twist in the center. And I don't have matching bottoms to this one because I like having such a bright color and then like a neutral bottom. So I usually just pair it with my black bottoms. Like that. And it's just really cute. 
Also, such a bright color also brings out your tan. So those are all my bathing suits, and I just want to show you guys a few more things that I find essential for, like, water, pools, and beaches and things. So what you can do is they have these water shorts and if you're going to be like a little bit more active in the water you and you're scared of your bathing suit bottoms like falling off or anything you can wear these shorts and they're meant for the water so they're really cute these ones are black and white because I have a lot of like black bathing suits so these go perfect with that and I really like these they're very comfortable and they dry really fast when you get out of the water as well so you can like wear them home and stuff and yeah so they're really cute and like they're a little bit more conservative, but I do recommend you wearing a lot of sunscreen on your legs when you are um, wearing these shorts because you don't want short tan lines. That's not cute. A few other things that I think are essential for the pool or the beach. So um, I have this bathing suit cover, and I actually hauled this last summer when I bought it from Forever 21. And it's just black, and it has these little tie strings here. It's a tube dress. And it is a dress. It looks like a romper, but it's definitely a dress, which is a lot easier to put over a wet bathing suit. So it's just like this, and then it cinches up around here. And it's pretty short, but if you're wearing it over a bathing suit, then I think that's pretty okay. And the next bathing suit cover I have is just this green one, and this one's from Jacob. Um, I don't think it was intended to be a bathing suit cover, but I think it would be a really cute one. And the reason why I like this one is because it's short-sleeved, and when you've been in the sun all day, um, sometimes you just want to put on like uh, something that's like short-sleeved and covers a little bit more of your skin to protect you from the sun, uh, and like not get your shoulders and your back really burnt. So it is a scoop neck. And then it's like just like a plain dress, not much detail to it. There's just a little pocket here though. And it's just pretty simple. Um, it adds a little bit of color just to throw over like a black bathing suit or something. And it's just really cute and easy. It's also a pretty thin material so it will dry really quick if it gets wet. Whew, my color, my lighting gets all weird when I hold up something. Okay, and the last thing that I think is pretty essential for the beach or the pool is a nice bag. And this one I also hauled last summer from um, Pink. And this one is really cute and it's huge. It's red so it also adds a pop of color but if I will be carrying this bag I'm not going to be wearing this cover up because green and red, no thank you, I'm not going to look like Christmas. So this one's really cute and a lot of people have these bags. The reason why I like it is because there's a big zipper that closes everything shut so you won't be losing anything and it's just a really big, sturdy, and just everything fits in it. So um, yeah, I'll probably be doing like a more in-depth video of what I'll carry to the beach in my beach bag or to the pool or anything. So if you want to see that, comment below. <laughs> So that's about it. Those are all my bathing suits. I just wanted to show you guys in case you wanted to go out and get something similar. Just share some of the trends with you and some of the bathing suits that I find really comfortable and great for the pool or the beach. So um, I should have said this at the beginning of the video. I am in no way bragging about all the bathing suits that I have. Um, I bought them all myself. If you were wondering, I wasn't like paid, whatever. And this, this bracelet is like jingling like crazy. <laughs> it's my Pandora. Yep, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Low battery? What?